And another nice play there to help preserve the lead. It's been a game of punch-counterpunch, hasn't it? All throughout. But this time, the big swing was taken, and it didn't land. Nice play by them on defense. On the carry, here's Sanders. Oh, a heck of a move. Oh, man. There he goes inside the 30. A sensational effort from Barry Sanders. 44 yards on the ground. It's something that we saw plenty of times throughout his career. A huge chunk play. A huge chunk run from Barry Sanders. And even though this one doesn't go for six, worth noting, Barry had 15 career touchdown runs of greater than 50 yards. That's pretty good. That is very good. He may have taken a loss here or there, but he often turned many of his runs. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Barry Sanders, his second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Lions add on to their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me, very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me, and they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit, things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely, you also drain clock too with yep. a drive like that, so you really give yourself an advantage. Here comes Rodgers now as he'll go for the two-point conversion. Now Rodgers. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Or are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. Alex Smith and company heading back out there now. He's hoping to channel his first half play. They had the lead at halftime, was playing well. Flip the script here in the third quarter a little bit. I think he misses the Pee Wee days, you know, <laughs> when you just got the orange slice yeah. at halftime, right? <laughs> and remember, weren't any real adjustments then, right? You weren't looking at some tape, right? You weren't looking at stuff off of the, the surface tablets. You just went back out and played. Right now, maybe the adjustments have caught up to him. Well, we'll see. Maybe he just needs a couple orange slices here for this drive. Now Smith, and they will not get the connection there. It's in complete. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. From the gun on third down, Smith. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And the Lions have recovered. I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to the positive side this time. Yeah, there was a fumble at the end of this one, but what a sustained drive. And if they can keep stringing those together, you got to like their chances. And credit the defense, though. You're out there for that long. You start to get tired, but they were able to get the turnover. Did you just credit the defense? I like to credit the defense I'm, and the offense. I like you. And the analysts. That's perfect. Aaron Rodgers, he's getting ready to go again here on offense. He's just looking to keep this thing going. They were down at halftime. Now they've got a cushion on the scoreboard. Bringing it each and every snap now, and you can tell the confidence has really risen with his unit. I think the halftime had to have done them some good. What they learned, what